you. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. You may be asking yourselves, Bailey, why is your face all green right here? Well, I was trying to do this video a few moments ago. And as I went to pause, I hit the wrong button. So I could start all over again. So, ready? We're going to start all over. One second. One second. Hey, YouTube. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. I have a very exciting face paint tutorial for you today. I'm going to show you guys how to do a T-Rex face. Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know? Weird looking dinosaur from back in the day when my mom was alive. She's still alive, but you know, she was roaming with those guys. Sorry, mom. <laughs> ah, I'm just, yeah. Okay, uh, so, like I said, it's, um, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex face. Um, somebody tagged me in this. Thank you, taggers. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Um, this is from parenting.com, P-A-R-E-N-T-I-N-G dot com. Um, I was going to do it in purple, but because my face is still green, we'll continue to do it in green. So, what you're going to need for this tutorial, cup of water, a mirror if you're doing it on yourself. Um, I have a textured sponge that I have cut up into these little pizza pie looking shapes for um, highlighting and accenting um, using the textured sponge because it gives you a scale look for dinosaurs. Um, I have here my number six straight edge brush. I have my little purple pointy brush that used to be pointy but isn't pointy anymore. I have my half inch brush for large surface areas and my number two. And I also have my Paradise brand paint. Uh, sorry. Uh, hypoallergenic water activated. I have my Amazon green. I have a just a regular red. Um, you can use pink if you don't have red because this is just for the tongue. I have a regular black and I have my white from Snazaroo. And my icky clean slash dirty stained paint towel for your brushes. I don't know, that's my preference. I like to have a towel in my lap to wipe my brushes on. Whatever you like. Okay, so, with my number, where are you? I just set them down and lost track. With my number two, I'm going to take my green and we are going to set out our stencil on our face. Okay, so, we are going to start on our forehead as usual, and from your corner of your eye, or top of your eyebrow. And I'm hoping I'm not going to push the wrong button this time. My camera's being fiddly. And... Down off the side of your eyes, doing that little cat eye look that we usually do when we do something funky. And then I'm going to do a tall dome shape in the back here. And this is the top of the dinosaur head. And then off of these little markies here, my hair is getting in the way. I'm going to create the cheeks. So I've done like a like a number three. It's okay if you messed up, you can always go back over because 
for Jazzy like that. And along the bottom of your chin, like so, to connect. And now we're going to block out our mouth. Now, from your cheekbone area here, you want to create a little. This is going to create the illusion of a big mouth, which I already have one, but I'm going to make it bigger. And then from that, So I have created, so this is going to be the mouth area. You want a very thin space between your chin line and the bottom of the mouth line. So now I'm going to pause, switch to my half inch brush and fill her in with green. Touching the right button this time. Pause, be right back. Boo. Okay, so I have gone and filled in all that with green. I think I'm going to Fix that little area there. And I have left the mouth area naked because we are going to have fun with that soon. Um, so, with your textured uh, sponge, a little bitty, bitty, little bitty, bitty bit of water, and you're going to get some black on your sponge, but pat it out on the um, on your towel and we're going to over the top of your eye create this dark I don't know shaded eye look because the last couple of tutorials I've done, I've been doing the illusion of an eye on the eyelid. And with this one, your eyes are going to be the eyes of the, um, of the creature. So I made that one a little too dark. So I'm going to take a dry sponge and help take some of that off. If I have to afterwards, I can go over it with white, which is what I will do. So I've taken a little bit of white and a little bit of water. I'm going to fix that because you want it to look more gray than black in that area. Like so. And also you want to, uh, keeping with that um, sponge that you just had in your hand, um, if you mix a little bit with the white and the black, you can create your own gray. So I have a little bit of black on my white here. And you want to go underneath just the outside corner of your eye for a highlight. And it's going to come off more white than gray, but that's perfectly okay. You have to go a little back, go back in your black and dunk, and then back to your white to get that color that you want. And on the, oh, a little dark. On the Top area of your nostril here, you want a darker gray. Not too much of it, but just enough there, as you can see. And also, that line that we created earlier, you want to Highlight the crown of the head 
with a little bit of a dark. Also the outside. And a little bit of the cheek. Because so what we're doing is we're doing our shading first before we go in with our harder lines. You want a little bit of a darker gray just on the one side of your upper lip and also just a bit on the bottom so this is what we have so far so on the side you have your eyes you have the little area here the inner nostrils and just the top and bottom lip there and then new sponge a little bit of water we're going to do almost the same thing on the other side with some white. So you want to continue on that crown with a little bit of white. So we're giving that illusion of light to dark, like we're standing in the light. And then again, this is a more advanced face paint, I guess, for people that have a little more time. And just ever so lightly. You want to highlight with that white. I think that's, that's all this hair. Oh, a little bit. Okay, so I had the white around the cheekbone, just up beside the eye, like the dark on this side, and a little on the upper brow there. All right, so I'm going to take my little pointy brush and the black. And we're going to start with the nose. So on the top of your nose, I'm going to draw these little black lines. Over the top of that highlight, you want to make it look like some little hockey sticks. And then bring it down just like that and then with my finger I'm going to pull that color into the side of the nostril so it connects together So now I'm just pulling the color a little farther down with my finger to give that shaded nostril look. And I will, don't worry, I'll adjust the light and everything so that we can see the proper result. And then again with a, a solid black line a little bit above we're going to outline that just from that hockey stick mark and down to the bottom and mm -hmm. Between your eyes, this is going to be kind of like the, the grr mark, I don't know. And then um, we're going to, now it doesn't have to be a straight line, you can make it wavy, 
kind of like I'm going to, and I'm just going to start the outline on the top of that, um, the uh, brow area, and also the top of the head. Now continuing from that little degree mark that we made, we're going to outline that highlighted triangle that we just sponged in. Also do the same thing as you did with the nostril and just tap with your finger and pull that darker paint into the light gray that we have to give it a deeper looking, deeper looking color. <laughs> Also, under your eye, like so. And I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to pull it up. I've also pulled a little bit into the corners of my eyes there. So it kind of looks, you guys can see that. Gives you that kind of look on your face, right? Right? Mm hmm. All right. Now, finish the outline on the top here. And then also the cheekbones. Just like that. And before we continue any further lower on the face, right by the eyes, I'm gonna do some more wrinkle marks here. Just like that. And don't worry, we are gonna go back uh, in the nose area and around the eyes and highlight again with some white. Now, I just outlined the bottom there, and I'm also going to Now when I trace the top, I bring it, I kind of curl the outside of the mouth. Just like that. And now I'm going to create the teeth on the inside of the mouth. Just like that. Excuse you. So then I have outlined the bottom. My picture disappeared. And I'm going to do just small teeth along the bottom. Just 
just like that. And I am going to, just from the bottom tee, I've made that line a little thicker because we're going to do some highlights on the gum area. Yeah. Back to your number two brush. Create a little tongue, and then um, with that same um, small purple brush, I'm going to fill in the black area of the mouth, and I will be right back. All right. Hey, we're getting there. So I filled in uh, the mouth area, and I've also given the tongue just a little bit of a groove there. And now in between the teeth on this upper lip area here, I'm just going to give um, like teeth like gum marks like teeth grooves everyone except for the very last uh, tooth there and also little accents on the cheek there. Clean that up really, 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 really good. We're going to take our number two brush once again. i go with my white. I'm going to go with my white and I'm going to fill in all my teeth. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Looking a little creepy. So now I've just got my, uh, my number one brush here. My very, very thin pointy brush. And I'm just going to go do some final accents. Now, just for a finishing touch, just 
just around the bottom of the teeth with my same brush. I'm just going to accent along the bottom of the teeth, and I'm also going to do a little bit on the teeth. All right, so I'm going to see, maybe this will work if I, there we go. So there you have a I don't know what I was trying to do. I was trying to stretch the mouth. I don't know. Um, so I think I did pretty good on my tagged photo here. So thank you again, Tagger, for tagging me in this uh, really cool face paint. Uh, try it. See if you can beat me. You probably can. But uh, yeah. So click, comment, like, subscribe, share. Uh, stay tuned. I've always got lots of stuff coming. So uh Oh yeah, uh, I tried a baking video. I don't know if you guys want to know how to make some cookies from scratch, but check that out. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Stay jazzy.